virtual technologies uh, have been used since uh, many years um, by many industries in the aerospace and automotive uh, markets. Now it's coming to the cities and it's really an interesting way to think about the way that the cities will uh, transform and have a better future. As a compact island state, Singapore faces many challenges as it grows. The government is working to ensure that as this rapidly changing city moves forward, the lives of its citizens continue to improve as well. Now, Singapore has the vision to be a smart nation. To be a smart nation, it doesn't mean all about technology. It could be mean about people, it could be about processes, it means about doing things much easier. But technology does play a big role in making the nation, the people, uh, doing things in a more efficient way. Humidity, temperature, and even noise and light intensity are recorded on devices worn by students. This data is fed back to Virtual Singapore to help build a comprehensive 3D model of the city. So Virtual Singapore wants to be the platform where we could test different ideas, provide services that make people's life much easier and more efficient. The tropical climate of Singapore can result in some parts of the city becoming uncomfortably hot. To combat this, urban planners will often consider how the placement of buildings will affect wind flow across the city. We are modeling and uh, simulating the way wind flow into a town area. When we uh, run the wind flow analysis, we will be able to see where are the areas that's being blocked and we can improve the way that we arrange the building types and blocks so that uh, we introduce wind channels so as to enhance thermal comfort. Now you can't really do that uh, in real life because uh, that means that uh, you build a building and you find that, hey, you know, you don't get much wind here. You can't just demolish it and reposition it. Virtual Singapore allow us to just grab the uh, maps, very detailed forms, and just run the simulations. Virtual Singapore is really a collaborative platform. Other government agencies can also put data. And so with more richer data, it will mean that uh, we are able to plan better. And if we are able to plan better, it means better living standards and lives for our residents. We decided to work in the Dassault system because we came across a 3D experience platform and it has some features that allows us to expand on it and um, develop Virtual Singapore. The team works well with the Dassault system. Both are very ambitious, can be open to share our ideas and this trusting relationship is more crucial than technology uh, can afford us. Besides the urban planners, engineers, people in the business industry, and even the residents themselves would find that uh, Virtual Singapore would be very useful. Virtual Singapore allows us to experience the city in a way that hasn't been possible until now. With this platform, we are shaping the future. <laughs>